So I've been told these commercial mowers are some of the best ones to use if I wanted to start a lawn care business. There's just one issue. These are no longer available on the market. In fact, I would call these ancient relics only because according to the fine folks that make the rules for all of us to follow, these will never be possible ever again. That means at least for me personally, I need to fix each one that I can find. In today's video, we look at this Toro commercial mower and the problem is that it won't start. But before I try and fix it, I need to clean it first. That way I don't get dirt and grass in places like the carb, fuel tank, or inside the engine. Now, if you want to see the repair video for this mower, there should be a link to it on the screen. But this is only the cleaning video, so if this isn't what you're looking for, I'd like to thank you for your time. Now, for some background on this mower, yes, it belongs to yet another one of my many co-workers, and even though they don't do as much commercial work as they used to, they still use this one for light commercial work, and by the looks of it, it shows. This thing is pretty disgusting, and the reason seems to be because it's doing commercial work. For some reason, when you see one of these, it's always covered in grass and dirt, and I guess it's supposed to be a badge of honor because it proves that it's a working machine. Now, if it really is a true working machine, I guess the people using it just don't have the time to clean it, but does that also mean they don't have the time to maintain them either? Now, the cleaner I'm using is citrus-based, and it's very affordable, but you'll have to be careful using it. I would recommend reading the instructions and, of course, following any safety precautions. For this one, I'm going to do what some of the viewers want me to do, which is to use my pressure washer. And the reason is I want to show you just how effective or maybe how ineffective it can actually be. So typically, I'll spray down the parts I want to clean, then I'll use my brush to agitate the areas, which will loosen any dirt and oil. After that, I'll then spray the area down to rinse away the dirt. Now this time, however, I'm not going to agitate. I'm just going to spray the areas, let it soak in, then I'm going to use my pressure washer and see what a ton of pressure, along with gallons of water, will do. What I hope to prove is that pressure washing alone won't always get the dirt and plant material off the mower and that agitation is sometimes needed. Now agitation could be substituted with either hot water or using a turbo nozzle, but if you don't have a hot water pressure washer or can't get a special nozzle, agitating the area only takes a little extra time.
So to be honest, the pressure washer did an excellent job of getting rid of most of the dirt and grease and plant material. However, there are a few places that need a second round of spraying or maybe hand washing. Now, if your goal is to get rid of 90% of the grime off the mower, well, using a pressure washer works just fine. But if you want to get the rest of it, I'd recommend doing it by hand. Now, you obviously don't need to clean the wheels, but since these wheels are painted white, dirt has a way of making them look extremely bad. Now, I'm still going to use the pressure washer to rinse the mower when I'm done scrubbing on it, but the amount of water I've used so far has made the ground very saturated. I might have to find a way to clean it off the ground next time. The mower looks a whole lot better, but it also looks like I just pulled it out of the lake. There's nothing wrong with letting it dry in the sun, but I want to help it out a bit. That means I'm going to pull out the leaf blower and see what it looks like when it's mostly dry. So the mower looks pretty good while it's wet, but after drying it with the blower, it's very obvious how flat the paint looks, along with any areas that may have some surface rust on it. All in all, it still looks pretty good considering the type of work it's doing. So in the end, if you only have 5 minutes to clean your commercial mower, use a pressure washer and it should keep it looking presentable for quite a long time. Just don't forget to blow off the extra water, otherwise you might have an issue with corrosion after a few years. Of course, cleaning your machine isn't as important as doing the maintenance on it, so if you only have a few minutes to keep your mower in working condition, i definitely put that time into maintaining it versus cleaning it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask me any questions about this project or your own projects, and I hope to see you in the next video.